Hey guys, this is Rodeska, and I'm coming to you with a tutorial brought to you from a person who was asking a question on Patreon. Um, they were asking if there was a way to fit armor to a mesh uh, without having to go through the problems of damaging the uh, mesh, uh, which comes a lot with you know proportional editing and changing vertex around and then the normals get messed up and things like that. Uh, if there's an easier way to fit the object to the mesh and I have uh, a suggestion which is using a mesh deformer inside of Blender so if you go over here you go over your deformers and you go down here you'll see mesh deform so what we could do is we can select the jacket we can go over to here we can go over to deform we can then go to mesh deform and it's looking for an object so we need to kind of like build an object for this item so what we can do is we can then go over here, uh, maybe add a plane to this, go inside the plane, uh, delete the vertices, go in here, and then start to build a box. Um, right here. And we just kind of want to make it the shape of the object. We're just going to go down here, we're going to go down here. We're just going to try to fit it as best as we can with the object as best as we can. Maybe something like this. Maybe right there, like this. Add one right here. Okay, maybe bring this down a little bit, bring this up. We're just trying to fit it to the object. Okay. It doesn't have to be super perfect. We can go here, grab these, bring these all the way out, scale them down a little bit. Okay, and then we want to add some subdivisions in between this like so and then any other kind of like thing that you're having a, tr a trouble with you can then add some subdivisions in there to kind of help you I'm just kind of doing this as a very quick very quick thing to do making sure that we have enough geometry to kind of wrap around the object. Okay, then we can go in here and grab these. Right click, go to circle, grab all of these. Right click, circle. You don't necessarily have to do this. This is just something that I like to do to just keep kind of like, I don't know, some consistency. And if you want more speed and accuracy, uh, you can then make a, a mirror modifier to this. We don't necessarily have to have this part right away. We can go over here and just kind of clean this all up. When you do circularize these things, they do get kind of messy. So just be careful about that. It all is inherent of the shape of the main object itself. So it kind of tries to uh, hold up the shape. And this could impact the way your mesh is deforming because it is going to be using these vertices and their positions to help deform it much like a lattice deformer if you've never worked with a lattice deformer it's kind of like that okay so kind of rounding these off a little bit more something like this something like this Um, I don't know, this should be fine. And then we can go here, generate mirror, and then we can go here and apply that. So now what we can do is we can go over to here, we can then pick our object, and we can bind it. And then once we do that, we can then go into our wireframe, start selecting these vertices, and as you can see now we can start to fit this object to uh, the mesh. 
and you shouldn't have too many problems with this if you kind of put if you're having a problem with it try to put more vertices in there um undo the uh, binding and then just kind of put some more vertices in here but this should help you with fitting um armor and stuff to the mesh um, and then you can go in with some light proportional editing and do it that way. So as you can see, we have a lot better of a, a fit to the character. And you can then go from there. Okay? And if you want to see your results, you can just kind of hide that, see what, it's, what it looks like, and then just continue to... Um, edit the mesh as needed. If you also want to, you can also go to, I believe you can just delete only the faces and you should still be able to um, fit this to the character. That's the fastest way that I've seen without any high advanced technology or any kind of wrapping and stuff like that. Um, I think also I believe that you can go in here um, when you're doing this stuff you can go in here and you can change this let's also go here only faces and then i believe you can then by topology now do it that way so that if you have a symmetrical character or a symmetrical piece of mesh or whatever that you want to kind of fit to the character you can then go in here this is the best way that i've seen for fitting clothing to a character so if you have like a character that's a different size or a different shape or whatever um, different species you can then go in here and do this and again the more um, points you add in there um, the more accurate this is going to be because it's based off of the transitioning between these points so i hope this helps um like and comment if you have any questions and things like that uh, but uh to the patreon guy i hope this helps and uh yeah all right take care guys